I'm running way late this morning. I don't know what the heck happened with my alarms, but I did not wake up at the time I wanted to wake up at. Clearly, I'm just getting out here. So, we're going down into this piece um, that I hunted last weekend where my girlfriend Corey killed her bird. And uh, I had it running with that long beard. So, I'm gonna go down in here and see what happens. Um, depending on what happens here, I'm gonna play a little footage. I went out Monday morning. I had a bird roosted. Um, and I don't know if you could tell when I was putting my gun together, I don't have my red dot on my gun anymore. I don't know what was happening. But I missed again. I missed a bird at about 45 yards. And I don't know if the red dots caused me to lift my head or what, but I'm gonna might just roll that clip into this to start this morning off and then I'll jump back into it. So we'll see. But we're gonna run down here and uh, see if the gobbler's lost his hands yet. Good morning, everybody. So <clears throat> it's May 11th. 12th. It is May 12th. Uh, this morning we are heading up into a spot. I seen a bird here yesterday morning and I watched them all yesterday night. Um, so I kind of have an idea right where he's going to be. So this morning I'm not going to take no decoys or nothing. We're just going to go and I'm going to walk up the field edge and then cross a ditch and just jump up and get up in the woods to a spot where I can see up into the hardwoods of quite a ways and I can see down into the field where he was at yesterday morning. So, should be a pretty interesting morning, and uh, we should be really close to this bird on the roost. The reason I'm not taking decoys is because I don't think I'm going to be able to crawl him out far enough to uh, be able to get the decoys out if he's where I think he is. Um, he wouldn't gobble for me last night, so we're going to head out. Um, probably won't see an interview in the woods. I'll probably be just waking up, and... Uh, and hopefully there's a turkey goblin real close and then a shot to soon follow so we'll see you guys up in the woods talking a little bit about that hunt where I missed because I don't know what happened um, I roosted this bird the night before um, and I just I, I just flat out missed 
There's a turkey gobble one right here. Not right here, but I've been sitting here for a little while and in the last five minutes he's probably gobbled four times. So he's getting fired up. I'm gonna see if I can't let out some really loud calls and uh get him to come this way. I don't know if he's got hens or nothing. I haven't been up in here in a week, so but what I, I, I don't know what it was causing me to do, but as you can see, if you didn't see before, the sight's off the gun. I have never missed a turkey with this gun. Not one time have I ever messed with this gun. It shoots a flawless pattern, and both of these birds that I shot were 50 and under. Man, he's really got one. There's no excuse for that. I, I, it should, both of them birds should be dead. I should be tagged out. I don't, I don't really know what to say. Um, I, I don't know if it was, I don't know if when I was using the sight, if it was hard to see through the rest of it, so it was causing me to pick my head up and pull off the turkey. I, I, I don't know what it was, but I've never missed a bird with this gun. <clears throat> now this year, I've missed two turkeys two times. I've missed four times this year with this gun. And the only thing, the only thing that I've changed is putting a red dot on top of it. So, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I tried to fix it. So, just keep that in mind when you guys are shutting stuff up. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This wasn't broke. I never missed, a, never missed a turkey with it in my life. Except for this year. I should be tagged out. Um, the second shot I took, I know you guys can see turkey was flying when I shot. And the only reason I shot is because the turkey was flying by me at about 15 yards. I can hit a duck and a goose at 40 yards, but I can miss a turkey at 15. That something, something just wasn't adding up. So red dots off the gun. Really made me kick myself in the behind and tuck my tail after I missed a second time this year. Um, I don't know. It just. Who's not good? I'm out here by myself today. Tomorrow, the girlfriend and I think her little sister are gonna come with, so. I'm sure if there's a goblin turkey in here, we might just come right back here, but we'll see. I woke up way too late this morning, so. Um, but if this gobble, if this gobbler starts working in here, what I'm gonna do is He's quite a ways off. I, know I shouldn't say quite a ways. There's a lot of vegetation on the trees now, but he's through this open field, and I think he's up in this next brush lot, kind of to the south of me. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, just get to the top of the property here, which is right here. I'm going to check the property lines again real quick. I don't know how far he owns over here. Oh, he does own that field right there. Oh. Okay, we can get quite a bit closer to this turkey. So, let's, uh, let's take a yander over there. Alright, everybody. We're heading down into our next piece. We got strap decoys and everything else. Nobody's back here, I'm pretty surprised. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head in this big block of woods. My grandpa was hunting here last weekend. He said he heard three birds in here, so. But that was at around nine, so. I think we're gonna, it's about 7.40 now. We're gonna sit here until about nine, maybe 9.30, and then maybe go try another spot. 
just going to sit here. He's got a little homemade blind here. And uh, we're just going to set up, set the decoys out, sit here and call for a little while, and uh, see what happens. So stay tuned. That was pretty cool. When she yelped at me that one time though, it sounded like two birds gobbled way down behind her. So, I'm hesitant to what I want to do. I don't know if I want to run right after them or if I just want to kind of call and see if they'll end up working this way. So, what we got going on is here, I'm pretty sure I heard two to three gobblers down here and there's a swamp down here in the bottom sounds like they're not too far off that swamp there's a little field right there but it sounds like two together over here and then one's off maybe by himself or maybe with a different group of turkeys over here to my left a little bit that hen just worked off in front of me i'm not sure if i should pull the decoys or not but I just close this door behind me to give me a little bit more shadow in here We'll see, they're not gobbling very much, so I'll just have to keep you guys updated. <laughs> 